Hey there, it's Mark. It's time for another year of case unboxing videos. Here we have the A case for 2021. This is uh, my ninth year. I've been unboxing them for nine years now. And you know what? This this one took a bit of a hit. This one, I don't know if it was on the edge of the pallet or if it got dropped. So that's some uh, crunching. Hopefully the cars inside are not uh, damaged too much. Uh, I open my stuff most of the time anyway. It's not that big an issue. But, you know, if it's a super treasure hunt and I want to keep it in the package, well, of course, you'd rather have it in mint condition. Let's check it out. By the way, a case, this is a little late because of the virus, the COVID virus. Normally, a case could show up last week of September. It often shows up in October. Well, now we're December and finally got the case. Now, there's, uh, I think there's three new models in this case. Let me go ahead, that one for sure. Can't miss, can't miss that pink. Here you have the Barbie Dream Camper. And I've been seeing pictures of this online and I, I did not notice that the, the blister right here is pink too, to go along with the car. Cause normally, you know, it's white in the back. But, but guess what, check it out. Yeah, this, this case took a hit. Got a busted blister. Well, since it's busted, first uh, for I do the English pack. I do the English packages so that uh, we can take a look at the back right here. For new models, they include this information. It's ready to go. I think I'm. A, I open it up on my other channel though, Mr. Grooves. Let me put it on top to remind myself to open it up. Here's another new model in the case. Fan favorite, long time casting, twin mill. New for 2021, and Barbie said that as well. New for 2021. Now you can tell the difference. Normal white, <laughs> they've made it pink for the Dream Camper. And as you've seen, it has a moving feature. I will unbox that over on Mr. Grooves. That's my collector channel. Now here you have the tuned twin mill. I need to adjust my light on the left. I have it too close to the table. Now, Twin Mill, they made, they made this a monster truck. Uh, I don't know if I have it right here. Uh, I have it put away. It's not a model that I would buy, but it came with the Twin Mill 3 special color, and I bought it. Otherwise, the monster truck, Twin Mill, Twin Mill normally, you know, the driver's compartment is back here, way in the back, and it's low and sleek. But when you put that body on a monster truck, where's the guy sitting? There's nothing underneath there. So now they tuned the Twin Mill. And what they've been doing with the tuning lately is that they tune it up, cartoon, not tune, like tune a car. They cartoon it, and so they've been popping it up. There's that other model. It's been out for a few months. It's kind of interesting. They take the driver's compartment and they pop it up like that. Something different. If you like it, great. If you don't, let it go, right? And here is the information on the back. If you'd like to pause that and read it. And there is a third new model, uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, I'm not sure, maybe I get one on the bottom. I don't see it. It's probably gonna be on the bottom of the case. So if you want, stick around and we'll get to that new model. Let me adjust my light, hold on. Okay, that's a little better. I have a kind of light low to my left, low so it lights up underneath it. You can tell, because see the shadow from my finger? I do that so it lights up the name, make it easier for people to see. And for some reason, it's a bit out of position today. As you're seeing, here we have the 96 Porsche Carrera. Has graphics on the side. Nothing on the top or the rear. Well, this is kind of the top. That's considered a, a top printing right there. That's pretty simple. That's all it has. Up next, another new model, but this is new for 2020. So let's see the difference this year. New for 2021, and it's red circle with a yellow filled in. Last year, it was yellow circle with red filled in. And you can see the difference between the white and the red text. So that's how they changed it up a little bit. Anything else? Uh, it looks like they put a dark banner behind the number right here. Did they do that on both of them. Yep, so the 2021s. Now, even though, no, yeah, last year had the blue banner behind the car uh, behind the collector number and right there you can see there is no blue banner 
Anything else? Hot Wheels logo is a bit lower on the package, maybe. No, I don't think so. I just think this is a tall blister. I don't really pay attention to that stuff too much. One thing you're going to notice is that Mattel is putting this uh, treatment right here on the package. Uh, not a filament, but uh, some type of material. No more plastic. Before, right here, there would be a piece of plastic glued to this J-hook. And so I guess they don't want to attach that uh, plastic piece anymore. Uh, I don't know if I have something handy. This right here, this one is a uh, HW Redliners, a 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser from a couple years ago, I guess. But you probably already know. You can see the uh, you can see the plastic right there. So that is attached to the car. No more J hook. That answers another question for some folks. Just because this is 2021, does that mean all the 2020s are gone? No, because they always carry over cases from one to the next. There'll be some overflow. It, it helps them keep their production costs down and give people a chance to find the cars that they're looking for. So that's why there's a 2020 in this case. This was a new model last year. You have the 2019 Audi R8 Spider, and below it, you have the 64 Chevelle. 64, I always skip that. 64 Chevy Chevelle SS, and one of the months last year, uh, uh, or in the 2020 cases, one of the months, this was a super treasure hunt. I think it had a TH logo, had a nice spectral flame paint, and I love the rubber tires. Would have been nice to get that for a super treasure hunt, but I was not lucky. I only got one super treasure hunt last year, and you can find it in my case unboxing. I have a super treasure hunt case unboxing playlist. All the cases where I got a super treasure hunt, and there you see on the back, new models, they put that information on the back. This is not a new model, not from last year, it's from a couple years ago. Here you have buns of steel. See, no information on the back. And thankfully they got rid of they got rid of the motor and then it was still in the image for a while. So thankfully that's corrected. Here you have RV there yet. Nice, nice Zamac, meaning it looks like bare metal. Yeah, I think that is Zamac. That does not look like uh, silver paint to me. Mmm, it's hard to tell. Yeah, I think that's I think that's bare metal. It's bare metal, but they put clear coat on it so it, to help it uh, not uh, corrode. RV there yet and here you have the 2010 Chevy Impala graphics on the top and this side nothing in the front or rear you know my daughter I found I found this car green car and it might be that green car there and I, I bought both for her she likes green cars she still does so I asked her do you want this or do you want the, it's like, I think it was the exotic, the uh, Panagani, oh, I, th I think so. But anyways, she picked this. It totally took me by surprise, which okay. I'll take an extra of the other one. It's okay. 64 Nova wagon gasser, it's getting ready to race. Oh yeah, here you go. Toyota off-road truck. I don't remember if uh, I have a special video showing the casting change of this model. Uh, I don't remember if I combined it in another video, but uh, over on Mr. Groove's, I have a casting change playlist, and it might be in there. I'll give you the link. You can find the link in the description as well. Here you have new for 2021. It's actually released at the same time as a Spy Racers series with uh, this car has moving parts. So here you get a basic version with no moving parts. And then... Uh, you get a new models version right here in the basics. And then the other version, you get moving parts. It's more expensive. In the U.S., it's $1.50 for that piece with moving parts. Here we have any new models. You have the HW Warp Speeder. Hmm, sure, I thought so. There you go, Glow Racers. I was thinking that has that uh, greenish-white type color like it would glow in the dark. So uh, I bet it would. Pretty cool, you can see right into the side of the body. That's open, that's open, and then that part right there is open. You can see right through it. I don't think a part's missing. I think that's how it's supposed to be. Hey, you got a driver, where's your driver? Spin Master puts drivers on their Monster Jam trucks. You're gonna show a picture of a driver, don't you? Sh Never mind. I'm starting trouble. 19 Mercedes-Benz A-Class, nice pewter silver color. 
you have brake lights, license plate, and the same in the front. Well, not the you know, license plate, not the brake lights, you know, headlights and stuff. Here you have another couple of models. You have the high roller, another one in the glow racers. So if you or you know a fan who likes glow in the dark cars, you're going to look for that uh, green banner with the glow racers. I thought I heard a busted blister. This was in the last case, Laughlin. It's for Alex Laughlin. He's like a uh, drag racer. I don't know if he has this color on his car right now, but uh, I, f I found a video and it showed a different color that he had painted his car. Another twin mill, tuned twin mill, and the 86 Monte Carlo SS. Graphics on the top and the side, which means nothing, nothing. Uh-oh. See? See what happens when you don't use a J-hook? No, I'm just kidding. That's not going to stop it. It's just a, that uh, that treatment is to help it uh, stay on the peg better. Uh, but I guess that's, that's not going to stop this type of damage, right? Because this was like this, right? So this was up against that side that got crunched. Yep, sure enough. And it's not going to stop that anyways. It's 10, no, 70 Dodge Charger RT. Come on, Tim, what are you saying? Is this one of the cars that they put... Is this one of the cars that they put in that uh, some kind of muscle car lineup? Uh, rubber tires, 52 Chevy. Uh, I looked, I didn't see any cars that I want, so I won't be buying any of those. I like the rust of treatment, uh, weather treatment. By the way, the last one, in my last case, it had a dent right there. It looks pretty cool. It's kind of like if it was a regular work truck. Roger Dodger 2.0. There you go. Modern version of Roger Dodger, an E version meaning e electric 52 chevy there you go another monte carlo and uh hot wheels ford transit connect i did a casting change video on mr grooves so if you visit that casting change playlist i can't link to the individual video because we have a uh, i could but you only get like uh you can only pop up five cards on youtube and there's so many casting changes. So how about I just give that one link to the casting change playlist. And then you can find it there. This was not the green one, by the way, that my daughter found. Here you have the 2018 Bentley Continental GTS or 3. GT3. This one is not a new. I don't think this was a carrier. Mm, I don't think. Was this new last month? I, I think it might have been a new model. And not, I say last month, but really it's the last case. The Q case. The Q case is the last case of the month, year. They go A through Q. Special feature. They go A through Q and... Jeez. Hey, look. He's ready, to, he's ready to come out and open up my soda pot. Carbonator. So the cases go A through Q, but not... They don't count I and O. So 15 cases a year. Hot Wheels. Here you have Road Bandit, modeled after the Jeepney vehicle. I just seen the uh, flowers on top, the heart. Let's see. Oh, it says it says Art Cars, but it's not for Valentine's. It just has a heart. There is a Valentine's car coming up. I don't know if it's in this case, but there is a Valentine's car. As a matter of fact, uh, that looks like, uh, oh, Holiday Racers. There you go. There's a holiday car. There you have the pumpkin for Halloween. And it says treasure hunt right on it. That's pretty cool uh, that they put put it right on there. That it's a treasure hunt. Here you have Knight to Dragon. Treasure hunts are not in every case. If they are in a case, there'll only be one. If it's a super treasure hunt, they're only in like one in every 15 cases. Really rare. These are in maybe half the cases. I don't know. So this is kind of cool find if you find this and you want a car that's not produced in the same quantities as other cars. Here you have Mad Props. That's in my casting change playlist. Even though it's not in every case, that, that means they produce less, but I, I wouldn't say it's particularly that rare. And there on the hood, you can see the Circle Flame logo. It's the same logo that's behind the car. Well, you can't see it because, because the, the exhaust pipes are in the way. 
But it does say that you found a treasure hunt behind the model. It's only in uh, one case code, but it's not in all the cases. Whereas like these cars, this is already the second one in this case. Plus it was in the case before. So every car gets like three or four pieces per two cases. So it, it is definitely produced in smaller quantities. I just don't know if I'd call it rare. Nissan 300 ZX Twin Turbo. If I find one of these with Spectra Flame paint and rubber tires, this model would be the super treasure hunt in the case. This is the regular issue, not the superized version. It's not a super treasure hunt. Hope, uh, I hope I can find that one. Is one there? No blue car, so it's not there. Here you have Quad Rod. Interesting story with this. There's another car car called Quad Rod. Well, I should say vehicle. I shouldn't say car. Interesting that they would give a, a, a name to a model to somebody else already had that name. I don't know. Poison Arrow with that uh, pointy tip and, uh, oh boy, we're taking a beating this time. So Poison Arrow, haven't seen this one in a while. Couldn't particularly say I miss it, but people like different things. If you like to collect arrows or jets, there you go. And it does, thankfully, it does look like the rotor, rotor still, propeller. It looks like the propeller still spins. As a matter of fact, we can check right now because it's busted. Ready? Does it spin? Yeah, there you go. Still spins. Uno. Love the game. Love the graphics that they gave it to this car. Uno. I still love the Uno Escort, though. Yeah, that's uh, I've been collecting a long time. Uno Escort was a hard-to-find car. It basically... It only showed up basically in, like, uh... Uh, one case code, I think, way back in the day. Another 19 Mercedes-Benz A-Class. Yeah, the Uno Escort, it only showed up in like in one case code. Hard to find. Hmm, what's in the bottom? Well, it might be a little hard for you to see, but that's pink. So we got another Barbie Dream Camper. Another Night Dragon. Here you have Velociraptor. I like dinosaurs, so that's kind of a cool car. And here's another big air, Bel Air. No windows, not supposed to have windows. That's not an air, they're all like that. I like it. Blue. Nope, not Spectra Flame Blue. Here you have the 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. Rally stripes on the top, on the side. So nothing in the front or rear. As far as graphics go, retroactive. Nice to see Retroactive back. It came out for a little short while, a few years, and then it was gone. But they did, uh, I mean, I think it had five pack releases. But as far as singles, mm, kind of disappeared. Reminds me of Ballistic, low profile, kind of wide. What do you think? Mm, look like Ballistic? Or do you even know what Ballistic looks like? Are you a newer collector? 69 Camaro. There you go. No opening hood. Convertible. Here you, have, oops, here you have that uh, new Corvette. It was new last year. I believe it was a 2020 new model. I believe, could be mistaken. Corvette C7 Z06. Velociraptor. Electro Silhouette. Here you have the 2019 Kia Stinger GT. It was a new model last year. And here is, a, I think it's a recolor. You have a peek at that. So that was short. You got to pause fast. Okay. 70 Dodge Power Wagon. Look how big it is. Oh, I'm too close. It's still big. It's still a big model. Now they can make it big like that because they take away some of the metal. You can see the bed's plastic. The back of the truck is plastic. I'm surprised that they didn't give it a uh, sunroof. Cuckoo! Hey, just like Bone Shaker. Oh, I forgot to ask you. Uh, you know that uh, Baja Bone Shaker treasure hunt? It had big wheels and they had the uh, it had the uh, skull wheels. My pile's gonna fall over. Is this the first time that the skull wheels appealed? The skull design appeared on these type of wheels. They they debuted in like a Halloween release. Uh, I don't recall any models using the skull wheels or this type. It, all of them were like this. You know, regular Hot Wheels, smooth, regular size. 
another art car. This one has a letter I. And here you have the, jeez, wow. 2010 Ford Shelby, no, 2020 Ford Mustang Shelby GT500. It's a newer, I think uh, this is a newer model. Is this the one that was a 2020 new model? Yep, sure enough, 2020 new model. Hey, Aeropod, looks good with the dinosaur graphic on there like that. Uh, excellent job in the graphics department. Here we have the Corvette C706, a second sample from the case. And here's the third new model in the case, or second, no, third. This is the third new model in the case, new for 2021. You have the X34 Land Speeder from Star Wars. Pretty cool to have it in a basic car assortment. And it just kind of floats above the ground. You can just imagine that it's floating above. Oh, never mind. It has tires. You can just drive it, okay? You can see the base, Land Speeder. Production code. Uh, it's on the other side. Can't see it. It's too far back. Pretty cool. Uh, this model and the Barbie are turning out to be popular cars or models for collectors. Yep, I have not seen either one on the pegs. The 2020, the 2021 cars are showing up uh, at stores. I know people are finding them at Walmart for sure. I'm not positive with uh, Target. Here you have the Mattel Dream Mobile. I think it was the first vehicle that Mattel made way back in the day. It's kind of nice to celebrate the 75th anniversary. They release it in a Hot Wheels version. The first one was a toy car. I think it was like this big. And it's plastic. Um, it, it was before they even had the Hot Wheels line. So it's uh, the original is not a Hot Wheel. It was a Mattel vehicle. Here you have another big Air Bel Air, another Nova wagon. Give a look at all the sides in case you notice an air. Oh, yeah. People, this is probably another one I'm not going to find on the pegs. People are pretty excited about this. You know, import. People like to import. Toyota AE86 Sprinter Trueno. Uh, Trueno. I don't think it's Spanish. I don't think it's Trueno. I think it's Trueno. I don't know. Anyways, yeah, pretty cool. They gave it the Falcon Tampos, Falcon Graphics, blue and green. Nothing in the back, but they have side decals and decals on the top. There you go. Not a new model. I think, wasn't that in the uh, Boulevard series or something? Here you have another Mattel Dream Mobile. Another 64 Chevy Chevelle SS. And another Dodge Charger RT. Another Barbie Dream Camper. Another one of the Hyperfin. 69 Camaro, is that right? 69, yeah. Convertible. Yeah, see? When they have a new model, there's usually two per case. I still don't find one on the pigs. That's okay. Here you have the 2019 Audi A8 Spider. And the, a new color for the Batman Arkham Knight uh, Batmobile. Pretty nice color. Kind of a brownish rust color. Pretty unique. Getting down to the bottom. Uh, no blue cars, no super, but we do have another sample of the Torreño. Pre, what is this, T-Rex Destroyers? I was trying to think of the name real fast. Uh, I couldn't think of it. 64 Corvette Stingray. Nice to see you back in the mix. I was pausing. I was trying to think of the name before looking. Uh, couldn't think of it. Too late. Wow, we took, we took a... We took a beating on this case. Jeez. Hmm. I don't even want to count how many were. Well, I don't want to count. It's going to be a lot. But I do go through and double check the base codes to, to see if there was any cars that showed up late. So right here, it says N35. N is for 2020. I know it's a 2021 new model, but we're still in 2020. So N means it was produced in 2020, and 35 means the 35th week. Most collectors know, but I get people who watch my videos and they go, what's the code? What's that mean? It means N's for the year, and then when in, uh, so this is 35, right? Yeah, 35. So in 17 weeks, uh, it's going to change over to, oh, you know what? It's not going to be O because they don't use the letter 
zero. It's going to jump from N to P. You watch. P. P will be co the code for 2021. Should be. Roger Dodger 2.0. Another Triumph TR6. Nice graphics. I, I didn't really look at that. I don't remember looking at that. They might call that a British British Royal Green. Pretty cool. Mm, LC. Triumph TR6. That LC should have a specific reason for being there. I wouldn't know what that would be. And Tank Nader. It's a write-on. It doesn't say right here. It does say it's a special feature. There you go. So some uh, some figures you can sit in there. It has a hole in the top. There's a hole in there. It's hard to see because it's, it's dark. It's deep. It goes all the way to all the way to Malaysia. Still made in Malaysia. Should look. Yeah, made in Malaysia because the five packs are made in Thailand. So I thought I'd better double check real quick. But yeah, you can put your figure in there and then you can have them operate the turrets. It does not lift up and down. It just spins around. After each case unboxing video, I look at all the cars, see if there's any errors. I also look at the base code N35, and I check all the cars. All of them had a base code of N35 or N34, so everything seemed to be normal. And all of them had the A designation because it's from the A case code. Now, you might not have that on international packages. The international packages are the ones with multiple uh, languages on the back. So... Uh, for the English packages, they put that there. I don't know. I, I don't know if my daughter's going to want a pink Barbie car. She might, but I don't know if I'm going to find extras. I might want I might want to keep them for myself. She does like green cars, and I had mentioned about the... She took the gasser, and she passed on this. She passed on the Pagani Y Roadster. I said, wow, that's that's like green. Uh, I picked that one up, and the gasser, she, she chose the gasser. Uh, I'm very surprised. She didn't even want that one, so... That's in the pile. Anyways, I checked to see about the blisters. 22 out of the 72 had a cracked blister. That's not counting uh, bad cards. That's just uh, cracked blisters from uh, the box being uh, kicked, punched, dropped, uh, hit by a forklift. I have no idea. That's a lot. 22 out of 72. And the Halloween... So this is a holiday racer. This is for Halloween. This is a treasure hunt on there with the pumpkin. So this is obviously supposed to be for Halloween. Now, because of COVID, these are delayed. A usually shows up in uh, October, sometimes September. But anyways, so this normally would have been out before Halloween. But now because of COVID, all this stuff is delayed. So uh, by the way, my last case, Q case for 2020, did not have a basic treasure hunt. Did not have a super treasure hunt. They're not in every case. This time I got a basic. Thank you very much. Didn't get a super. That's all right. Remember that super is the, uh, as a matter of fact, I think that this Nissan, if you find this with a special Spectra Flame paint and rubber tires, uh, I don't know if it has a TH. I don't know. I, I put pics up on the screens, and I keep uh, mentioning this in my case unboxing videos, and uh, I'm going to say it again right now. You know what? This car, Mattel, why is this car keeps coming out with messed up wheels? Look, both of mine in the case, messed up wheels. Look at that one. You know, this is a first time. But this one, I'm even noticing that uh, bent axle on the $1.50 cars, and it's like, you know, and I know they were produced months ago, but uh, quality control, you got to catch that because that, that car is worthless. It's not worth anything, okay? It, you can't even use it. And why collect it? it? That's not the type of air I collect, by the way. I have a special name for those. I just, I don't say it here on my channel. Don't forget, subscribe to Mr. Grooves because that's where I'm going to unbox this Barbie Dream Camper. Race Grooves TV, that's going to be like the early days of race grooves. Play sets and fun stuff like that. As far as race grooves, it's probably going to grow up. I'm going to start doing racing, uh, but I still will do the Hot Wheels track set reviews here. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye-bye.